What is going on guys? Today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today I bring you your weekly refresh guide. Now, upon weekly refresh there are plenty of things you can do now to earn them luminous engrams which will help you in raising that power level. But before we get into the video guys, if you do enjoy it, leaving a like really does help me out. And if you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so the weekly refresh is upon us. Um, so we have four things which we can do on a weekly basis now, um, which will give you luminous engrams, which in turn give you probably the most powerful gear in the game besides exotic engrams. So we have the weekly crucible quest. Uh, we know it starts with complete two matches in the quick play playlist and it goes on to do like 100% of something which is about 10 games of PvP which isn't hard at all and it's pretty damn good. The rewards are top notch so yeah you may as well do that. We've got Flashpoint on Nessus, complete public events on Nessus. This in turn again will give you a luminous engram. It's between 6 or 10 public events depending on if, um, how, well it depends on how many you triggered as a heroics. Then we then have the Nightfall Strike, which we'll get onto in a second, and we have Clan XP. You level up your clan, uh, I think it's 5,000 this week, let's have a look, yes it is, weekly personal contribution, 5,000, and then Hawthorne will give you a Luminous Engram, which is great, seriously. So let's quickly check out what the Nightfall has to offer this week. We know it's the Inverted Spire Strike, but I'm not sure of the mods, the modifiers. Okay, so yes, the inverted spire strike, Arcadian Valley, and the Red Legion expedition that has ripped open the planet's surface. And we know this gives you that great, great loot. Okay, so we have on it prism. Your attacks matching the focus element deal increased damage. All other elemental damage is reduced. Kinetic and incoming damage is unaffected. The focus element rotates periodically. We then have Time Warp Rings. Vex Time Gates have appeared in the area. Pass through them to discharge temporal energy and extend the mission timer. So we have got a mission timer this week. And I'm guessing again it's probably 11 minutes. Haven't checked it myself yet though. But we will do that now. Why not? So I can confirm that the uh, Nightfall Strike this week is 11 minutes. Even though you only see it on my screen it is 11 minutes. So that's great. So what we're going to do now guys is we're going to get out of here. Now, also remember, guys, as well, Cade 6 does have treasure maps, which you can do. Uh, these, in turn, can give you an exotic engram. The first one I opened last week, um, I got an exotic engram. It's on the map uh, Nessus. Yep. So when you pick up these five treasure maps, each one will pinpoint a chest on Nessus which you then in turn find and has a chance of dropping an exotic engram. Also guys as well, Ikora's back with her weekly missions too, which give you rep for her to rank her up. Remember guys as well, people found a secret room within the mission 1AU and the story. I'm guessing when she has that mission back here again, that is going to get abused and people are going to find new secrets. So stay tuned for that here on my channel. But yes guys, the weekly refresh is here. Get, get grinding. You got the Crucible weekly, you got the Flashpoint on Nessus, we got the Nightfall, and we got Clan XP, which you can rank up. All four of these will give you a new Luminous Engram, which will help you in turn get to that higher power level. And guys, that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it helped you out and you found what you were looking for. Thanks as always for stopping by. If you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe and hopefully people, I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand, but you and I get around